pipes. Mm -hmm. Get them pipes going. <laughs> Good morning. We are in Lake Tahoe. I am like, couldn't be happier to be here. It is so beautiful today. Take a look. Have you seen anything more beautiful in your entire life? I think nay. And we are on our way to go skiing. Obviously I'm wearing like neck warmer. This is not New York Fashion Week, wasn't invited. <laughs> yeah, we're on our way to go skiing. I'm super excited. It's our first day of the year. We're gonna go ski at Alpine Meadows today. And there's a shit ton of snow and I can't wait to just get amongst it, so. Well, <clears throat> we have been on the road for like T minus two minutes and it's just like dead stop traffic and people are turning around. Not really sure what's going on with that. It's kind of one way in, so let's just hope it clears soon. <laughs> we can go friggin' skiing. <sighs> and it's like red all the way up to the mountain, so that's cool. 2,000 years later. We just sat in traffic, was that 45? No, we left at 8.30. That was an hour and 15 minutes, holy crap, of traffic. Um, anyways, we're arriving at Alpine Meadows. It looks freaking beautiful. Some locals yesterday told us that it was gonna be super empty on the mountain today. Don't think that's the case based on the fact that a 30 minute drive took an hour 45 but either way it doesn't matter i'm just psyched to be in the mountains it looks amazing up there i'm like looking at it now there's a bunch of assholes who are already skiing so hopefully we're gonna be those assholes soon we are right baby we're gonna be assholes uh couldn't be anything but <laughs> Such a good vlogger. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty here. <laughs> ah, I'm blind. <laughs> this in the vlog at all because it's just like Thank you so much. not super fun but at this point it's just so ridiculous so Troy rented skis yesterday and we get up to the top of the hill put the skis on and one side is way too freaking small one side is way too big I will insert photos here so the guys who set up the bindings of the boots just like totally fucked up and then we brought them to the repair shop at the ski hill who charged us another $25 to have somebody else's error fixed. <laughs> Turns out they did it right, but like one of his boots is bigger than the other. So now let me tell you what time it is. It's 11 a.m. and we are still not skiing. We left the house at 8.30. This is it's almost lunchtime. The world does not want me to ski ever, apparently. <laughs> so that's fun, fun little update. Still not skiing, <laughs> yay. <sighs> be calm. Calms in. Are we good? Yes, okay. All right. Three. Round three. Hoping for the best. Third time's a charm. We're only a little angry. A little angry. And all is well. Maybe a lot angry. Maybe a lot angry. We'll feel better when we're out here. We'll feel better after some skiing and some beers. Right? Fixes everything in this life. Get it right. Let's do it. 
That's us. I'm sure I did this before. I don't know. If you don't want to do it, I can meet you at the bottom. I mean, I don't want any of us to get hurt. What do you think? I can do it, but... Uh, not maybe. I think we should keep traversing up. You can do it. We're just at the top of this bowl. I'm showing you before. It looks super freaking fun, and there's a ton of fresh powder, so I'm gonna put this camera away and we're gonna go skin. <laughs> okay, come this way, babe. just got so fucked so quickly um uh, I don't know if you can see it but like I've been crying I feel so horrible so that run that we just went down I am an advanced skier my boyfriend is a relatively new skier and basically what happened is I took him down this run that like really I knew it was too hard for him and then he fell and his ski, the powder was so deep today that his ski just like went all the way down and we were searching, searching, searching forever and we couldn't find it. Like it was just fucking gone. It was like looking for a needle in a haystack. And they were a pair of rental skis. They weren't his skis. So now we're, I don't know, it's like not a big, I don't, I'm crying because I just feel really shitty. Like it's, I just feel so bad that I put him in that situation that was A, dangerous, B, ruined our day. Troy's like totally fine. He's not mad at me at all. He's of course because he's like the sweetest person ever. I just feel really terrible. <laughs> I've skied my whole life, you know. I should have known better than to like take someone who's um, not at the appropriate level on a run like that. But I guess you live and you learn, you know. I think the good thing out of this is that no one got hurt. And like he's totally fine and he's not mad at all of course, but like I just feel really bad So I'm sitting here with her one rental ski, which we will be purchasing <laughs> and um, Troy's getting the car and we're gonna go and deal with this, but I just feel like an idiot like I should have known better. I don't know what's my problem It's my problem But yeah That's <laughs> That's today's update. I'm I'm so overly emotional. I probably shouldn't even be crying at this. It's not worth crying over, but I just I think I just feel like the world's worst girlfriend right now. Like that's what I feel like. So hence the tears. Anyways, we're gonna go to the ski shop now and deal with it. Um Love goes wrong, nothing goes right. This one thing I know. <sighs> I am so exhausted. Um, I know it seems like, I don't know, not a big deal to lose a ski, which it's not. Like we went to the store, we paid for the ski that we lost, 500 bones, that sucked. But you know what? It was more, <sighs> Like I feel like I seem like I'm being overly dramatic, but it was more the feeling of me having let down my significant other because when you are the more advanced skier, it is your responsibility to sort of not take the person who's with you who is a less advanced skier to somewhere where they're gonna get hurt. And I really feel like today I put the person who I love most at risk and that really bothers me and I'm really upset with myself for doing that. So that's why I'm so um, upset about today. It's not really just like the act of losing a ski. So anyways, frankly, I'm exhausted. I'm having trouble putting sentences together. This is not how I plan for today to go. I'm pretty sure in the end of my last video, I was like, we're gonna have a super fun Tahoe vlog together. <laughs> We got two more days here, so there's a lot more fun to be had. We are in this beautiful house. 
super happy and thankful for everything and you know what the most important thing from today is no one got hurt and we are all good so troy and i are gonna go have a little hot tub and just hang out and relax for the rest of today and regroup but um yeah i'll see you in the next vlog thank you for watching and sorry about my cry kind of embarrassed but that's how i was feeling so <laughs> that's it anyways see you later Oh my god, look at this line of cars. That's crazy. Where are we, Whistler?